no. No. Shit! One time. Come on! Good oh, shit! Shit! I'm sorry, Mr. Mueller, but Sheriff Cooper is on the scene. Of course the sheriff's at the scene. Where else would he be? Ice fishing? Is there anyone else I can talk to there? Not sure. I think everyone's out on a sweep. Find a deputy. I want my questions answered. Let me check who's here, Mr. Mueller. What's going on? That has left the local bank in ruins. Is that the bank? Is that happening right now? So far, no suspects have been named, but a local manhunt is well underway. Residents beware. Authorities are considering the suspect to be both armed and dangerous. The fire is still raging out of control. The small community of Pine Ridge has not seen this kind of action in years. A bank robbery and a fire. Wait, there's a fireman! 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 Fireman, what? can you tell us how out of control this fire still is? It's not out of control. It's contained. I have to go. Is this the biggest fire you've been to in Pine Ridge? Lady, it's still on fire. It's still burning. I need to go. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the best fire we've seen in a long time. Thanks, Lori. We will keep you updated as the story unfolds. I'm sorry, Mr. Mueller. Everyone's on the scene. I told you there was a bank robbery today. I know there was a bank robbery. Why do you think I'm calling for a psychic reading? I have an account there. Oh, today's a bad day to make a withdrawal. You'll have to call the bank directly. Call who? The bank is burning down, you horse's ass. Hello? Hello? Worthless.
Sheriff Bruce Cooper, Sheriff of Pine County. Sheriff, were you surprised to hear that not only was there a bank robbery in Pine Ridge today, but also a, a what do you call it when somebody burns something? Arson? Yes! Were you surprised that someone robbed and arsoned a bank? Very surprised. Uh, uh, Deputy Williams drove out to tell me about it. I was ice fishing when this happened. I knew it! We are still sorting out the facts at this time. Sheriff, do you think that this dangerous criminal was here? From here, I mean? Was he a local person? And uh, when can we expect an uh, appren an appre apprehension? We have just started our investigation, but I suspect he won't get far. Our entire force, as well as local agents, your force couldn't find grass on a golf course. something he doesn't want just because he bought too many of the wrong toys. That's what I've been fighting against for years. And what's that, Pop? Trying to commercialize Christmas. over something what uh no why thought i heard something Thank <laughs> you. 
is one event I never expected to see. Two can play at this game, Mr. Macy. If Gimbel's hadn't got what the customer wants, we'll send him over to Macy's. It'll be a pleasure, Mr. Gimbel. <laughs> 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 There they sat. Mashed potatoes? Yes. Roll? Yes. One or two? Two. Green beans? No. Just thought I'd ask. Maybe one day you'll try them. It's my mother's recipe. This should have died with her. Corn? Yes. And steak. Medium rare. It's a hell of a thing. What is? The bank. I mean, that someone robbed it is strange enough around here. So I suppose any punk can give that a go. But why burn it? Never heard of that before. It takes balls. He'll get what's coming to him, though. Probably the raccoon that keeps... Or it's Santa come early for a goddamn cookie. Don't you think I should check it out? I suppose. Well, suppose you keep that steak warm. I will.
Did Lou send you? I don't know any Lou. How do I get this car started? I can't. The battery's shot. Do you have any other vehicles? I guess you don't know who I am. I guess I don't care. Do you have any other vehicles? Not here. Look, there's nothing for you here, pal. Your best bet is to keep moving. How many are in the house? here remodeling the back of the house electrical problems Your head. I'm all right. But you're bleeding. Shut your yap. I said I'm okay. Now what? I don't know what you want, but if you'll just tell me. Can I get a plate? If you don't mind, it, uh, it smells delicious. The man wants a plate. Would you like a glass of wine? No, thank you. What would you like? Oh, I can... It's my table, what would you like? Oh, um, the steak looks good. It is, I cooked it. Mashed potatoes? Yes, please. Roll? Sure. One or two? No, just one is fine. Green beans? Oh, I'm not much of a... It was my mother's recipe. Oh, uh, then, sure. Thank you. What about me? What about you? Can't I finish my dinner? It's in the oven. Ever look at me like that again? Take your hand off of her! You sit down. You. You wanted your dinner? Now eat it.
It was cold. Motherfucker. It's goddamn freezing. How do you expect me to just... No, don't! I'll... I'll heat it up. No. You stay there and eat your dinner. You do the same. Now eat! You guys really go all out for the holidays. Christmas is my favorite time of the year. You have something against Christmas? It's all right. All right? It's the best. It takes Emma a month to get the place ready. Okay. Hmm. These green beans are excellent. Thank you. Listen. Stop talking. I've done everything you asked me to do. I think I need to know what's going on around here. You don't need to know anything. Well, I want to know, smartass. Do you, do you think you can get some more of those beans? Yeah, yeah, of course. Thank you. He robbed the bank. Shut up. He robbed the bank. I said, shut up. You know, I can kind of respect that. Sometimes a man has to do unsavory things. But why'd you burn it? Shut the fuck up. Did you rob the bank? Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All the houses. Look, can't we just discuss this like two gentlemen? Sheriff Cooper. Deputy Gale. How goes it? Williams and McIntosh are still canvassing. Rumsfeld and Pinion are searching all vehicles exiting on Highway 3. Robertson is coordinating with Jackson and Union County to do the same on as many exits as possible. We have the APB out with a description of the vehicle. The state's assisting, but as of now, you are still in command. Eight days. I'm sorry, sir. I retire in eight days. Did you know that? Yes. There's a party plan. Oh, party. How about that? Sir, in the interest of covering all our bases... Caught two big walleye out on Pine Lake this morning, which is pretty good for me. I don't have... Much luck ice fishing, but today I was off to a good start. Okay. Deputy Williams drove out to fetch me and told me this wild story about the bank being robbed and set on fire. I just stood there. <laughs> Might as well have told me that John, Wayne, and Elvis were back at my office playing backgammon. Sir, I think a local search would be appropriate I as... actually leaped into action. Well, semi-leaped. My, my bad knee, you know. I surprised myself in any case. I mean, a bank robbery. Holy crow. Uh, uh, this, this calls for decisive action. Yes, sir. Agreed. 
Williams and I walked back across that ice. Not the easiest thing to do since my knee surgery. When I almost reached the shore, you know what I did at that moment when time was so crucial? No. I turned around and went back for the walleye, frozen solid in their bucket. I mean, I love pan-fried walleye, rolled in a little cornmeal, and finished off with just a squirt or two of lemon juice. Sir, I'd like to take the lead on a local search. Are you looking for an arrest or a promotion? An arrest, of course. So you're not still sore that Deputy Williams... Deputy Williams will make a fine interim sheriff until the replacement is elected. And I was never sore. Sir. What makes you think he might still be in the area? Someone has to think. Eight days. You know this isn't necessary. Just tell me what you want. I told you what I wanted. For you to keep your mouth shut but you didn't listen, and this is what I got you. Hey, not so damn tight. I'm sorry. Make them tighter. What if I have to go to the bathroom? You've got to be kidding me. Ignore it. Ignore it? I said ignore it. What if it's important? You're a terrible hostage. Well, excuse me. Are you done? Yes. Who could be calling? Probably someone from Frank's business. If he doesn't answer, they may come over. Are you bullshitting me? They have before. Okay, listen, both of you. If you don't do anything stupid, we'll all get through this, all right? And then I'll be up. Answer it. But remember how easy it would be for me to shoot both of you. You wouldn't do that, would you? Answer it. Keep it short. Frank Mueller residence. Um, I'm afraid that he can't come to the phone at the moment. He's a little, uh, tied up. May you take a message? Who is it? Shh. I just want to know who it is. Shut the fuck up. Um, yes. I will tell him you called. Thank you for calling. Are you trying to piss me off, asshole? I'm trying to run a business. All you're running is your damn mouth. Can I just get the message? In the message. It was Jeffrey. He said there was a man looking for you this morning and there was an inventory issue. An inventory issue? What the hell does that mean? That's all he said. And you couldn't get details? Given the situation. We're gonna have to call him back. Are you fucking crazy? You're lucky I don't gag you and throw you in the cellar. You do have a cellar, right? Yeah. Am I gonna have any problems with you? No. All right, go up to your bedroom. And if you try anything, you're gonna end up like him. You understand? Yes.
Hey. What? Can I get a pillow? That's not a pillow. It is. Look at this tiny thing. I need a real pillow. No, you don't. If I don't get a real pillow, I can't sleep. God damn it. Where the fuck are they? Where do you think they are? The bedroom. Hey, maybe a blanket. Not a quilt, it would be too hot. A blanket. I'm sorry to bother you, but Frank wants a pillow. Here. Yeah, I didn't mean to wake you. I wasn't asleep. Um, may I ask you a question? Sure. Are you going to hurt us? Not if you do what I... No. I'm not gonna hurt you. How long are you going to be here for? Hopefully not too long. I just gotta figure a few things out. I know you're not a bad person. I can tell. You don't know anything about me. Not a blanket, it's a quilt. It's fine. Uh, I'd swing out and see what you guys found down there. Plates were stolen. It matches the description given by two witnesses. So it does. So it does. Uh, have you notified... We've the... notified everyone. Sheriff Gallagher, Union County, is proceeding under the assumption that he switched vehicles there upon meeting with the second perpetrator and that the search should be widened. Sounds reasonable. Sounds reasonable. But you have uh, another opinion? Possibly. What would you care to share? I'd be 100% on board. But? But the car won't start. Well, that's uh, not unusual. I know it's not that unusual sitting out there all night. But I want to have Corky Sandridge towed in and look it over. Now, now Corky is going to charge a bundle. Our budget is I know all the budget is tight. But what if the car died on him? and he had to proceed on foot. On foot? You know it's pretty Please, cold out? Please, don't tell me it's pretty cold. I know it's cold. Yep, yep, okay, yep. Corky, tow it in, but at the next town council, you be prepared to stand... I'll be prepared to justify the expense. Thank you, Sheriff. All right. Oh, hey, a deputy. Maybe you ought to have them dust for prints. Yes, Sheriff. They dusted for prints. Right. So what are you talking about? An arrangement. 
Maybe we can work something out that will benefit us both. Like what? Good morning. Hey, uh, what are you doing? Making breakfast. You do want breakfast, right? I'm starving. Uh, yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Go on. You're in a tight spot. I can understand that. I might be inclined to help you out for a small fee. How small? Let's say 30% what you have in that bag there. Would you gentlemen like ham or sausage? Ham, sausage. Okay, I'll make both. How can I trust you? How can I trust you? How would it work? I'm still putting it together. Almost got it. Let's say that I... what you say. You understand? Yes. Deputy Gill, how are you? Good morning, Mrs. Mueller. And Merry Christmas. You as well. What can I do for you? Well, I'm sure you heard about all the excitement that happened downtown yesterday. I saw it on TV. It's just Awful. Did you catch who did it? Well, that's why I'm here. No, we didn't. And there's a slight possibility the perpetrator could still be in the area. No. I'm afraid so. His vehicle was found about three miles from here. Straight through the forest. This is a little scary, Deputy Gal. Don't be too alarmed. I'm just out asking if anyone has seen or heard anything unusual. No, we haven't seen much of anything. Nothing unusual, I mean. just normal things. Is Mr. Mueller home? No, he's not. Really? On Christmas Day? No, sorry. Is there something you want to tell me? No. No, we're fine. Do you mind if I come inside for a few minutes? Just to warm up. Oh, Deputy Gal, it's such a mess in here. I would be embarrassed. It's not like you at all, Mrs. Mueller. Well, the truth is... The truth is, Donna. Frank hasn't quite been himself lately, and I'm at a loss as to what to do. I'm sorry to hear that, Emma. He's been spending more and more time at the casino, and when he's here, he's... Well, you know Frank. Has he been abusive towards you? No, not with his hands. Not in a long time. We're gonna discuss this in greater detail when this is all over. I promise. Thank you, Donna. Remember, if you see anything suspicious, I will call right away. 
Better get inside. It's freezing out. Oh, don't mind that. I've told Frank to move that darn thing a hundred times. He has it installed way too close to the stove. I better get back before my breakfast runs up. I guess so. Merry Christmas. You too, Donna. Where is it? To the kitchen, right above the stove. Emma. You have to kill him. What? I've got to stall him for a day, maybe two. Get his gun when he's asleep, or cut his throat. I, I can't. We need that money. Get him to trust you. Do whatever it takes. Do you understand? Whatever it takes. My grandpappy's knife is in my closet. As long as we do what he says. No. How do you think this ends? Either we kill him, or he kills us. I'm on my way. Easy! I wasn't telling her anything. I was comforting her. You gotta believe me. There's a lot of things that I gotta do. Believing you ain't one of them. Hey, sooner or later, you gotta deal with me, buddy. Sorry I put you in this situation. Thank you for that. And I'm sorry about your breakfast. <laughs> I'll be out of your hair soon. Where are you? I need to clean up. So what do we got? Cheryl, would you mind repeating what you just told me? Just the important details, Cheryl. Well, I can give you all the details that you can handle, girl. Just like I told this fine deputy over here. <laughs> Cheryl, please. Right. Yeah. Well, okay. So a stranger came in yesterday. And well, that wouldn't really be odd, except for, well, this time of year, the only ones we see are the ones who are coming through to see their folks for the holidays. And since I know most of the families around here, you'd think that I would recognize, you know, some kind of resemblance or something. Like the Claytons, they all have these big heads. And, uh, oh, the Pikes, they all have th this look on their face like they smelled something god awful. Miss Clover, what did the stranger look like? Okay, yuck, back up. Nobody calls me Miss Clover anymore. Except for those rug rats when I substitute teach over at Pine Ridge Elementary there. Of course, I don't hear from them like I used to. Ever since I smacked that smart mouth little Higgins bastard in the face in class in front of God and everybody else, 
I know I shouldn't, I, I shouldn't talk like that, but he pinched my ass when I turned around after I just told him that he flunked his spelling test. Can you imagine that? Nine years old. What did he look like? Just like his daddy. <laughs> he had the same little crooked grin on his face that he had when he asked me out in high school. I turned him down the first two times, but uh, mom always said, if a man's interested, he will keep on sniffing around. And he did. He did. Yeah. Cheryl? Please, Cheryl. Okay. So I added up all that he spent that night, and uh, well, it just didn't, it didn't justify a trip to the back seat. So, you know, a girl's gotta have her standards. <sighs> Thought you might like that. Thanks. I need that battery today. Tomorrow. Maybe the day after. No, I need it today. There has to be a way. Maybe you can ask Santa for one. I'm sure he's faster than Pine Ridge Auto Parts. Have you been a good boy this year? It's Christmas. Everything's closed, as it should be. It's a magical time of year, and everyone's with their families. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Why'd you do that? Battery's not your only problem. There's checkpoints now. My car is a 78 Lincoln Mark V. It doesn't exactly blend in, pal. Everyone in the county knows that car belongs to me. You won't make it five miles. I'm the only one that can help you. Now, you ready to deal? You're gonna keep playing these games. You're fucking nuts! Split it with me. I can get you out. It's too much. Half the money or all the jail time? The choice seems simple to me. I'll think about it. Don't think too long. I can make it happen. And that's a frank promise. How'd that go? <laughs> About as well as I suspect you thought it would. Yeah, yeah. What'd you find out? Well, there was a stranger here yesterday that nobody recognized. A few hours before the robbery. Now it took you 20 minutes just to get that information? You know it did. <laughs> you ask me, I got off easy. He was about five foot ten or so, dark features, possibly Hispanic or Italian. He was dressed well, had a slight limp, well mannered. Oh, and she loved his cologne. Nice work. Thanks. Do you think it's relevant? No. And why is that? Um, why would a stranger planning on robbing a bank show his face before he did it? In the busiest place in town. I concur. Okay. Well, then I'll start. The cams limp? Sure. She said the man had a limp. Two people verified it. Mean anything? Remember when Skeeter Nash passed? Oh, must have been nine, ten years ago now. Sure. 
I've only been with the county eight years. All right. All right. Old Skeeter was pretty much a waste of the world's resources. They found him drowned in his own bathtub. Was he drunk? Probably. Of course, it's tough drinking with a broken arm and cheekbone, but if any man could do it, Skeeter was that man. Does this have a connection? Word added that he got in deep with the wrong people. Rumor was it had something to do with money he owed the casino. You know, there's some pretty tough customers running that establishment. Blue Walker, part owner. He's not a man to cross, so they say. There was a half-hearted investigation. Nothing came of it. Why are your stories so long? For dramatic effect. A few days before Skeeter was found, a man was in here, in this very diner, eating a slice of chocolate pie. Cheryl said the stranger yesterday ordered chocolate pie. Rhonda does make the very best pie in the area. Make no mistake. So you think it was the same man because of the pie? He, and he had a slight limp. So do you think I should add this information to the APB? Uh, what do you think? I think yes. Just to cover our ass. Now that's spoken like someone with ambitions. <laughs> Monica! Are you still here? <laughs> Sorry. I thought maybe you had another folksy anecdote for me. Nope. That's it for today. Monica. There you go, Sheriff. Thank you, Monica. Deputy Gale, I overheard Deputy Williams say that he was going to be interim sheriff once this old buzzard finally steps down. That's true. Well, I think it should be you. Frank the Tanks used cars. We have deals upon deals on wheels upon wheels. 
If you're looking for a steal, Frank's ready to deal. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. If you're willing to play nice, I've got the best price. So come on down to Frank the Tank Slot. You'll be happy you did. I kid you not. You'll leave satisfied, because I'm no novice. I'm a square dealing man, and that's a frank promise. Are you okay? I heard something. I'm fine. I just dropped my water glass. Wait. Come here. Uh, Emma. I have to ask you something. Then ask. Lie down. Emma. Can't. Men have been standing over me my entire life, and I don't think I can stand it anymore. It's. I mean, this, it's wrong. <laughs> you robbed and burned a bank. Fair enough. husband owns a used car lot named Frank the Tank Motors. He does. How did you know? I saw the commercial. Oh. Those are terrible, but he's so proud of them. I stole the getaway car from there. You did what? <laughs> I hitched up here the night before, and that was the first place I saw him, so... I stole a car from there. And apparently I stole the wrong one because it barely got me out of town limits. It doesn't matter which one you chose. They're all junk. Then how does he stay in business? Selling cars isn't his real business. Then what is? He launders money for an organization in Chicago. Yeah? Mm -hmm. He doesn't think I know, but I guess they have... Car lots all over the Midwest, like Frank's. What does this organization do? A whole lot of things. Um, they have a few casinos. I've heard him talk about drugs. And I've heard a few names, but... Lou? Yes, that's one of them. How, how did you know that? When I got here, I had the gun on Frank, and he asked me if I worked for Lou. That doesn't surprise me. I actually wasn't that surprised to see you. I just figured you were someone Frank owed money to. That place. Where's your gun? Hmm? The one you have is Frank's. Where's your gun? The one you used to rob the bank. I didn't use one to rob the bank. How did you do it? It was holiday hours. The bank closed early. Yeah, but how did you do it without a gun? <laughs> Poorly. I mean, the alarm was a joke. I've disabled much harder ones than that. The real reason I picked that bank was because of the safe. They don't have a vault, just a safe. So 
I studied under the best way to crack the safe, and that was with an acetylene torch. And it worked. I mean, I got it open. But the sparks, I mean, they just went everywhere. And then before I knew it, poof, the whole thing was up in flames. So I just grabbed what I could and got out of there. Well, seems like you did a good job to me. <laughs> when you leave here, will you take me with you? Emma, I can't do that. I can ask nicer. I have too much on my mind right now. I only have one thing on mine. Emma, I can't afford to have feelings right now. Then don't. What is? The money. It's not for me. Who is it for? It's for Hannah. Hannah? My niece. She needs surgery. And then she'll need another. And then the insurance will run out. And then she'll need several more. What's the matter with her? It doesn't matter. All that matters is that I get this money to my sister in Colorado. Is that where you're from? Not really from anywhere. But my sister Darlene, she lives there in a small town, smaller than this one, named Tower Rock. There's really nothing there except these majestic mountain views probably never see again what's your name just call me chance I think you're a good man chance Please don't say that.
Mrs. Mueller, I know you're in there. My name's Joe Browning. I'm here to serve papers to your husband, Frank Mueller. What kind of papers? He's been subpoenaed, ma'am. I'm required to hand him these documents. Can you just leave them outside? No, ma'am, no can do. I'm required to give him these documents directly. He's not home at the moment. Let's see, do you know when he will return? He's out of town on business. I'll try back tomorrow. Thank you for your time. Don't get up. I didn't get much sleep last night, so I thought you might be hungry. Oh. Emma, you didn't have to. Shh. I don't mind. Wow, this, this looks great. Thank you. You don't know how good it feels to be appreciated, to be thanked. It's been a very long time since I felt that. I'm gonna go clean up, and we can decide what we wanna to do today. Okay. Listen, I don't wanna hurt you, but if you scream again, Snap your fucking neck. <laughs> Got it? <laughs> Where is he? He's upstairs, right? No, I told you before. No one is here. He's out of town. He would even tell you you're a terrible liar. If you're in the closet, Frank, come on out right now. Otherwise, I'm just gonna start shooting through the door. All right, have it your way. Psst. Shit. <laughs> Drop it. No. Drop the fucking gun. No can do. All right, all right. You're not Frank. He's out of town. I'm guessing he doesn't know about this little situation here. Did you hurt her? Nah, she's just resting. She'll come around soon. Move. So what are we gonna do? Shut up. 
You don't know what you're doing, do you? I said, shut up. Yeah, you don't know what you're doing. It's your first time, right? Why would you say that? Because anybody with real experience would know not to follow so close. <laughs> 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 Wonder what old Frank is gonna think about this situation. Fuck. I'm not even gonna get paid for you two. Ain't nothing personal, but Lou gave your husband every chance to pay back what that bastard was skimming. Hey, looks like a murder-suicide situation. What do you think? I think you're a fucking asshole. <laughs> not exactly breaking news, honey. What are you gonna do with that? You want a shot? <laughs> Come on. I'll give you a shot. So I take it that uh, things aren't going quite as planned. Who is that guy? Did he have a limp? He did. I don't know his name. Lou hires him sometimes. He's freelance. How far in over your head are you? That's my business. How is that not my business now? At least this asshole brought me a car I can use. That won't work. Why not? You'll be stopped. They'll ask for ID and check the car's registration. You can't get through, but I can get you out clean. You'll be stopped too. Won't matter. Everyone knows who I am. And you'll be in the trunk. In the trunk? I'll get you some hand warmers. I'm listening. We split what's in that black bag 50-50. I drive you to the city where there's a bus station. What if the bus station's being watched? Probably is. Most likely the ticket counter. But I'll be buying your bus ticket. This 
might actually work. All right, but the money stays with me in the trunk at all times, non-negotiable. If we get busted, you get nothing. If you try something stupid, you get nothing. Nothing. Obviously. One more thing. You're not leaving this problem with me. The ground's too frozen to bury him. There's a coyote run out in the woods. You can drag him out there. They'll take care of the rest. Anything left in the spring, I'll bury it. What if the police come looking for him? This guy? Not in a million years. What if his people come looking for him? Well, the answer to that depends on just how much money you've got in that black bag. About 90000 That's not enough. How so? Well, half of 90 is 45 and I need 65 to square with Lou. <laughs> Forget it. 60 That'll leave you 30 That's a good sum to get you going. I'm going to give you 45 and that's it. Look, I negotiate for a living. I think I know who has the leverage here. <clears throat> 45 or I'll shoot you in the lake if you ask for another penny. Not the most subtle negotiating tactic, but persuasive. Done. Let's get moving. Chance, are you sure you're okay? Did he tell you who? Frank? Move. I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, right. We need to take care of this. We'll need some rope. his gun got rid of it through in the woods behind your house that's a shame what are you doing let's go give me a sec will you? Oh, come on man You probably think I've never killed a man before. This wasn't part of the deal, Frank. It was always part of the deal. Ever since you showed your face around here. You can keep all the money. Oh, I know that. Just uh, let me go then. Chance, is it? You know I can't do that. I have to tie up this business proper. You broke into my home after stashing the money who knows where. The law will never find it because you won't be alive to take them there. And that poor gentleman? No idea who he is. Wrong place at the wrong time, I suppose. You forgot about one thing. What? Emma. Oh, I haven't forgotten her. I barely got out of the situation alive. But my poor wife, you really were a cold-hearted son of a bitch to kill a sweet, defenseless woman like my Emma. <sighs> hey, I wasn't done gloating yet. Hmm. Have it your way.
<laughs> you see, Frank, you're not the only one that thinks ahead. But now that I know the type of guy you are, and the way that you feel about your wife, Emma, I suppose we can take off the kid gloves. You okay there, Rocky? Sheriff, may I speak with you? I'm off the clock, Deputy Gale. Looks like you are too. I am, but it doesn't mean that I'm not thinking about the case. How can you be so... So what? So f fucking blasé about the situation. Now, do you have a more specific complaint? Are you just trying to impress me with your vocabulary? You're here eating pie, giving every indication that you have very little interest in what is going on here. Now, Deputy Gale, as I believe I've already mentioned, I'm off duty. You've been off duty for a year. That stings. I'm sorry, sir. He's long gone, Deputy. You must know that by now. I don't think he is. It's Christmas, Deputy. Go celebrate. Enjoy it with your family. My family? You know Scott and I are separated. He has Billy in Chicago for the rest of Christmas vacation. Oh. Didn't know that. Sorry to hear. So, are you going to just sit here all night? Yep. I've got no one to go home to either. I've always been married to my work. Not lately. Uh, we're separated for the rest of Christmas vacation. If I could get back up, I'd like to go back out to the Mueller place. I have a feeling that something is going on there. Can't you just wait a day or so? Frank Mueller will still be there. Sheriff, I am formally requesting backup to assist me. I am formally rejecting that request. Listen, Deputy Gale, I'm still the sheriff until the end of the year. So, who's in charge? You are. I didn't catch that. You are, sir. I've got men on loan to practically every law enforcement agency in the state. It's Christmas. And I wish like hell those men could be at home with their families. But like you said, there is an armed robber loose. And we are all very concerned about that. Yes, Sheriff. You yourself said you checked Mueller residence. Everything seemed fine out there. I didn't say it was fine. So you'd like to take a second look. Fair enough. But not tonight. I don't have the manpower. I can just drive up there alone. Nope. Why not? Did you know a second abandoned car was found 40 miles north? No. No, you didn't know. Do you know why you don't know? Because I'm not in charge. Because you are not in charge. Sheriff Gallagher up there thinks there is a connection, so I'm letting him run with it. He should know for sure in a day or so. If it doesn't check out, well then what? Then you'll authorize backup assistance at the Mueller place. You are batting a thousand, Deputy. Good night, Deputy Gale. Good night, Sheriff. taking Emma with me over my dead body. 
That option's still on the table. I'm gonna throw you some cash as compensation. How much? 10K. She's worth more. She's worth more than everything I have. But you're getting 10. You'll never make it. You gonna call the law? You know I won't. I can't afford the scrutiny. Besides, this whore will take your side, no doubt. Call her that again and No, I'll... Chance. Don't hurt him. He's hurt enough already. Thank you, darling. Sheriff Donegal. This is Sheriff. <clears throat> this is Deputy Gale. Deputy Gale? This is Corky Sandrick. I've been trying to reach Cooper. This is his line. He's off duty tonight. I was just passing by. What's up, Corky? Well, a couple very interesting things. About the vehicle. Sure. Lone head gasket. So the car died. Not surprising, given where they came from. It's one of Frank the Tank's lemons. Frank Mueller. How do you know? His radiator hoses have his inventory numbers on them. His cars break down so often, I'm familiar with the system. Are you sure about this? Oh, for sure. Thank you, Corky. Well, I came out on Christmas Eve. I'm going to have to charge you double. Hey, Sheriff, I thought you were off tonight. Gail, what are you doing in here? Williams, I need your help. Well, I'm on desk duty tonight, so I can't... Nope. You're coming with me. Let's go. What kind of man are you? I'm a cold-hearted, self-absorbed, angry man. I've done bad things but I don't feel bad about them. I think you're just like me. I'm not cold-hearted. I'm not self-absorbed. And I'm not an angry man. I'm just a man sick of playing by the rules when it seems like the game is rigged against me. Yeah, I've done bad things. But I do feel bad about it. Emma, go get your things. Do you really think she's the kind of woman that wants to live a life on the run with a loser like you? You gave her the gun. Chance. This needs to end. Emma. Step aside. Frank Mueller. That doesn't seem possible. He's an asshole, but as far as I know, that's all he is. And you might be right. You probably are. But I want to check it out anyway. If you go straight through there, the woods thin out in about 100 yards. You'll see the house off to the right. I want you to go to the back in case he runs. Hey, I'm not liking the way this is sounding. I thought you were just going to ask some questions. I am. Why don't we both go up to the front? If we both go, it looks official. 
if just I go dressed like this, they just think I'm checking in on them. I'll give you five minutes to get in position. Okay, five minutes. I'll be late. I'm not going to shoot him again. I'll do it. No. Tie him up. Take him to the garage. I want him to freeze to death. Emma. Do it. can't risk staying here any longer. And he was right. I can't give you the life that you deserve. Any kind of life is better than the one I have now. I can't stay in this house. Frank's memory will be here to haunt me. I'm going with you. Deputy Gal, what can I do for you? Good evening, Mrs. Mueller. I'm just circling back around, crossing the T's, dotting the I's. You know, and I realized I never did get to speak with your husband. Is he home? No, he's not. Sorry. <laughs> I drove all the way out here, twice, Mrs. Mueller. I sure would appreciate a word with your husband. I'm sure you would. But like I said, he's not here. Then a word with you, inside. No, not tonight, maybe tomorrow. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to insist. Is it the bank robber? Is he here? Don't you worry about that. I'm going to file a complaint. This is completely uncalled for. Where is he? I told you, Deputy Frank is not here. Now please leave. I will have a look around, Mrs. Mueller. File a complaint if you have to. But I will speak with your husband. Please, Donna, I promise everything is okay. I'm just very tired and would like to. Did he rob the bank? 
What? Who? Did your husband rob the bank? Frank! What the hell are you doing? Don't worry about it. I'll blame this on him too. Did that come from downstairs? I don't know. I, stay here. Frank Mueller, are you down there? I want you to show yourself. Williams, can you hear me? Williams! Been a strange fucking Christmas. Hey, Frank. You okay? Who are you? I'm just a guy trying to do the right thing the wrong way. McIntosh, are you there? I'm here, Sheriff. What is it? I'm gonna need you and Robertson to come out to the Mueller place. I'm gonna need two ambulances, and you better wake up the coroner. Holy cow! What's going on there? Send them! Now! Are you okay? I'm head. But I'm fine. Williams, he was... Mrs. Mueller, are you hurt? How did you know? I don't know a damn thing. But there is only so much pie a man can eat. How'd I take a little ride out this way? Something tells me there's going to be a lot of paperwork on this one. Someone mind telling me where I can start? Is... Is he going to make it? <laughs> they robbed the bank. Both of them. Frank planned it. This one did it. <coughs> Frank needed the money, and they agreed to split it. Who is he? I don't know anything about him. He never talked to me. Is that the money? There's not a lot there. I know. They fought about it the entire time, blaming one another, 
raving about how they only managed to get 20,000. They kept saying they didn't think it was worth it. I suspect it wasn't. Emma, I'm gonna need you to come down to the station. Of course. But after, I can't stay here. Too many bad memories. Where will you go? Colorado, I think. I heard the mountains are beautiful there. Yeah.